We wanted to do something bold, something unexpected, something that's never been done before, something of massive scope. We are the underground. We are the underdogs. We want to prove that you don't need million dollar marketing budgets to achieve something of this magnitude. We've got the right team. We've got an eager network of brewers and we're just getting started. Dave Leslie chose the magician to represent nostalgic. And I, I think it's the perfect card for Mr. Magic Hands and the crazy concoctions that develop over there. The magician shows us that anything is possible. It provides us the spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional resources to manifest any desire. The key is to harness all of these tools synergistically so that the impact of what you create is greater than its separate parts. Alchemy at its finest. What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a very special video for you. I've been waiting for this box all day. This box right here. I have not opened it. I have not even looked inside it yet. I do know what's inside it. The magician is inside here from the Lockhart. That's why my hair doesn't look, you know, great right now, by the way. I was waiting to unbox this with you guys because the magician was sent to me early. It's actually dropping Friday. You know, today's Thursday, by the way. That That's the funny thing about Steve Lockhart. You know, he calls me up last week and he's like, yo, the magician is dropping next Friday. That's great. You know, the downside is you're not gonna get a chance to check it out till Thursday. So what I decided just to do, because obviously I'm not gonna have enough time to like go through the entire testing process that I usually do. What I decided to do was I was going to unbox it and give you guys a reaction to it. My first honest impression of the magician. So we're gonna look at it together. Let's go ahead and jump into this box though, because it, another thing that struck me about the box was that it's huge. There's, it, this is big enough to hold like 25, 30 cans of Magician. And you know, we are talking about Steve Lockhart here, so it's possible that he could have sent that, but I feel like there might be some other things in there. Let's go ahead and take a look though. And Okay, we got a box inside a box. And what is this, a dop kit? Oh my gosh, these came out so freaking good. I heard that they were doing this collaboration with this leather maker that's also from Michigan. I had not yet seen the results of that collaboration though. So I'm super excited that he sent these with uh, the jar that we're talking about. So let's set that aside. Oh, this might be it. I think this is it right here. Let's set it aside real quick because I just want to see what else they... Oh, he sent me another box. Steve, why'd you send an empty box? I don't understand you. That now though, everybody wants to see this guy right here. So let's go ahead. Where's my knife? I'm not even gonna mess around with this bubble wrap. We're just gonna jump into it right now. Here we go. Get in here. All right. So we got this beautifully designed top label. It's a really nice gold and red. I really love that color scheme. That's just beautiful right there. The magician over here, we got Lockhart's nostalgic. It says water base matte paste. Now beforehand, I got kind of a little preview from Steve and he said that he kind of thought that the formula was based on the old moon paste firm. It was, it was loosely based on that. No freaking way. I swear to God, this was not planned. I swear this was not planned. Look what that says. Steve on. What is up, man? Guess what? What's up? You are on camera right now. Say, you want to you say hi to the, the folks at home? Say hi to the subscribers. Hi, subscribers. So let me put you on hold for one second, and I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna figure out how, how to transition out of this, because now it's awkward. <laughs> Sounds good. Be right back, right back. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. That was not planned. I know some of you are gonna think that was planned and no matter what, but we had a phone call today. I knew we had a call, I just didn't realize the time and I think he was actually late for the call anyway, but good phone call with Steve. We just uh, talked about some stuff that I'll actually uh, discuss with you guys at the end, but let's continue our look here real quick at the magician. So we already went around the jar. We've already seen what it is. Let's dive into this sucker and see what it's like. Ready, set, and go. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, this has a very different look than moon paste. I don't remember Moonpaste having this kind of color, so 
I, I think that kind of debunks right away that this was kind of like a, a reused moon paste formula. So that's intriguing right away. You know, me having heard that it was like moon paste firm, um, I can tell just by looking at it that it doesn't look like the moon paste firm. So, oh my gosh, that's, oh, that scent. Guys, oh, freaking nostalgic every time. I just, I love the scent. Oh, I knew, I knew the scent was gonna be good, but like this is, this is fantastic. I mean, oh, I could sit here and smell this all day. Oh, it's like a little bit light too. It's not super strong. And I bet you it's gonna become stronger when I scoop it out. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this bracelet around and try, just take the scoop out. I'm gonna show you guys the first scoop of this stuff. Oh, it's soft. Ooh, it's soft. Take a look at that. Look how soft that is. That's hardly like, hardly thick at all. I mean, it's thick, but it's, it's smooth. Look how smooth that is. Oh man, you can really, what is that? I bet you there's kaolin in this. I haven't even looked at the ingredients list yet. White kaolin clay. I, you can feel it. It's just so smooth, but it's sticky too. At the same time, it's got a little bit a little bit stick there. Let's run it through the hair. Let's just see how it goes. Start in the back this time. That's a great scent. I love that stuff. And it's very smooth. It's, it's not tugging, not pulling. It's not very sticky. I'm just, you know, running it through real quick. Very smooth, good stickiness, not a ton, but a good amount. You know, I'd say more than what I get with Moon Paste similar to what I get with the Moon Paste Firm. So I'm starting to kind of see the idea there that it was kind of like the Moon Paste Firm, but I think this has more clay. No, you know, now that I'm, now that I got that second scoop in, it's not so much, it's also giving me a, a little bit of, of uh, stick more clay fiber. It kind of feels a little bit like that. Again, I know some people are gonna be like, so is it comparable? Which one's better? Not gonna, not gonna go there because it's not all the way comparable. I'm just saying some of uh, the, the smooth yet sticky type feel of it. They'll obviously feel the comb going right through my hair. Not a problem. Um, it's not ripping hair out or anything like that. And it's actually not as dry as I was expecting. I mean, it's more smooth than it is dry. It's actually styling quite nicely. It's very slick to style with. So what I think we should do now real quick is I should take you guys over to the bathroom, maybe set up the camera so I can give you guys a closer look at this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it go for a couple hours. All right, sound like a plan? Let's go ahead and do it, here we go. All right, so here we are in the bathroom real quick so you guys can get a closer look at how this stuff is styling. I did actually go ahead and call Steve too and ask about the uh, scent and he said it is a brand new scent and seriously my compliments to nostalgic on this scent you guys have done a great job but here's a little look at how it's styling it's styling really quick i mean the elephant in the room is kind of this this shine you know it's definitely not a dry matte finish it's got a little bit of shine there i am gonna keep an eye on it i'm gonna keep watching it throughout the day and i'll get back to you guys here you know, in a couple hours. And we can go ahead and see if that hold lifts or if that shine goes away. We can then keep an eye on it and see what it looks like at the end of the day. Okay, so what do I think of this product, The Magician? I've had it in my hair for about, again, five hours or so. It's actually been about an extra 30 minutes since we left the bathroom. And what I think here is I, I've narrowed it down kind of into two less pros and cons. And by cons, I just mean pieces of criticism because I, you know, I don't, I don't really, I don't want to make it sound worse than I, I think it is because I actually do, I actually do like it. I do think it's pretty good. As far as some of the things that I liked about it, expanding a little bit on my, my pros list here, I really like the scent. I said it a million times. This scent is just crazy. I also love the artwork. 
I think the artwork was just really well done. I love the tarot theme, you know, this this matching the brewer with the theme thing. I also really like the consistency and the breakdown and the application, you know, or styling of the product as well. It was really slick. It was really, you know, it's, it's got a kind of a thickness to it. And when you're applying it to the hair, that slickness comes in really nice, allows you to shape, sculpt, use your comb or you use your fingers. It's just really nice and easy. And for me, that scores very highly. Moving over though to my pieces of criticism and my cons list. I have to just, you know, say it right out right. I did not get a matte finish. I didn't get anywhere near a matte finish. And really, you guys can see it for yourself. I mean, if you go back and look at the demo, you can see a great helping of shine there. And then on top of that, I didn't see a whole lot of the clays come out. You know, I realize this is not a clay. It's, it's actually labeled a matte paste. But for me, this it more fits into the label of a clay pomade, you know, like kind of like what we saw with the nostalgic clay pomade where you got some really nice separation there. But, you know, you do have a, a good helping of shine and kind of low volume. That's that's really what I saw there. You know, there was a little bit of deflation going on there, but the volume, the texture and that was all kind of low for me. I didn't get a whole lot of it. And then that matte finish just never really came in. And I was kind of looking for that being as it was labeled a, a water base, a matte paste. I did not test the washout though. I didn't have time to because I need to get this filmed, edited so that you guys can have it as quickly as possible because the release for the magician is at 8 p.m. at the Lockhart site. And I believe that's uh, Eastern time at the Lockhart site. And you'll be able to pick these up. This is a permanent line product under the apothecary section, I believe, for these special tarot collabs. As far as these really awesome leather goods that we briefly talked about and I briefly showed in this video, this is a collaboration with Darker Manufacturing Company. They got a couple of cross branded stuff, some Lockhart's branded stuff, and then a lot of these Darker Manufacturing branded stuff, some really cool stuff. I'm actually going to put together a video just strictly based on this for you guys that are wanting more information on this stuff. But I did want to quickly let you know that these are available at their site too, if you want to check these out further. And then lastly, before I let you guys go here, Nevermore Phantasm. You guys know these are available now at the Lockhart site while you're there looking for the tarot releases. Make sure you check these out too. If you haven't checked them out, this is a great time to do so because this starting tomorrow too, tomorrow at the same time tomorrow when the Magician drops, we're also offering a Nevermore and Phantasm bundle. This is the first time we've offered them together since the release and they're going to be bundled together at a discounted price. You get a little bit of a discount because you're buying both of them at the same time. And as always, I really appreciate you guys checking that out and supporting the channel and the project. I do believe that's it though for today. That's my uh, initial reaction impressions of The Magician. If you guys would like to check that out, let me know what you guys think after you get it. I will be back to you guys again next week with an all new video. You take it easy, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time.